What's up with you guys? Today I'm going to speak about data security on mobile devices. If you are new to this channel, my name is Yaniv Hoffman. I'm IT professional and cybersecurity expert. My goal is to contribute from my experience and knowledge to create better awareness on cybersecurity. Let's roll it. So mobile security is said to be the measures taken to protect critical information and sensitive information on modern smart applications like smartphones, laptops, tablets, wearables, and more. At the core of mobile security, the main goal is to keep an unauthorized access from users that try to gain access into the device or network. When security on mobile platform is discussed, there are many areas to consider about the security. These areas include, one, the security of the applications on the device itself. Second, the security of the data coming into the device. And third, the security of the data that is flowing out of the device to another device or platform. Example of these uh, threats when speaking about these areas can be a malicious code that was downloaded into the mobile device and later infected and controlled it as part of an army of uh, attackers. Another example can be a data privacy that can be stolen from that device or also this mobile device will allow a gateway in order to penetrate some network or organization to steal data or to create an, uh, an attack. And that's why mobile security is important, because it can anticipate threats like malicious mobile applications, data leakages, phishing scams, spywares, identity theft, and many others. So mobile security provides the following benefits. One, a uniform security policy enforcement that the entire organization adheres to a unified policy for security of mobile devices. Second, regulatory compliance. Third, automated device registrations. Fourth, support of bring your own device that's effective for companies and their employees. Fifth, data backup that comes in handy in case of data loss. And last but not least, convenience with remote control of device updates. So what are the common most threats in this era? Here are some examples that I listed up. The first and foremost common uh, attack is phishing attack. And phishing attack is where attackers are trying to trick or fool a victim to provide their uh, credential. And lately, this is the most common attack that later result in ransomware. Phishing attacks are usually executed on mobile devices because of the communication. It's enough you get an SMS with some suspicious uh, links or a mail, or a WhatsApp a, a message, and you just need to click it. And you can download a malicious code into your mobile device, transforming it as part of an army of uh, bots or IoT devices that can generate later uh, attacks on many victims. Second are IoT devices, and we know that these are drastically growing numbers and we are expecting many billions of IoT devices as we, we progress. And what is an IoT device? Actually, every machine that is connected to the internet in our homes, like uh, routers and cameras and refrigerators and even toaster ovens that connected to the internet. 
And the weakness is that mostly these vendors that manufacture these IoT devices are overlooking security. So either leaving a very default uh, password or a very weak password that can be exploited very easily but by hackers that later leverage them into attack. The third, and definitely associated with the mobile, is mobile uh, malware. All the personal or business data is being transferred to mobiles nowadays because it's portable and all data is inside the packet. In the recent years, many people who used to work on laptops and desktops have shifted their work or data to their mobile and smartphones. Cyber criminals have created mobile malwares to gain access of the data stored in the mobiles. This hacking technique can be the most prominent one in the future because everyone is moving their business to mobiles. It is dangerous software that is created to take control of the sensitive data stored in mobile phones. So the fourth is 5G to Wi-Fi security vulnerabilities. While 5G is newly launched and being invested and implemented by many of our telcos and service providers, and will create security challenges by itself, still, to save bandwidth, some of the wireless carriers are moving many of their users into Wi-Fi or push them into Wi-Fi. When moving into Wi-Fi, cyber criminals can easily gain access of the stored data, not only through devices, but they have techniques to take the control through communication networks, which include Wi-Fi, 5G networks, etc. Many mobile vulnerabilities have been found during this procedure of transferring from 5G to Wi-Fi. Hackers are able to exploit such weaknesses in the software that are used in the transferring process of data and call from 5G to Wi-Fi. Such software must be made strongly secure to protect the sensitive data as provided by the cybersecurity consulting services. 5. API security and breaches. As the companies are being dependent more and more on API, cyber criminals have invented API-based attacks which can lead to hostile impacts on frequently used applications and social media. Application programming interface is widely being used because using it, data and services can be widely broadcasted and consumed over mobile devices. By this, cloud-native threats can occur which would lead to the loss of sensitive data owned by the companies and users. So how to enforce mobile security? First, enforce a password policy. Second, avoid public Wi-Fi's. Third, deploy mobile device encryption. Fourth, establish a security policy with clear directions. Five, ensure endpoint security. Six, ensure email security. Seven, make use of VPN and VPN encryption. Eight, deploy a secured web gateway. Nine, take services from a cloud access security broker. More and more mobile phones are used as a tool of work that allows us to communicate, to transfer data with each other. So mobile security is now even a bigger uh, role and need to be catered and protect our valuable information and privacy. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed and learned something. If you want to see more of such content, please let me know. Leave your feedback in the description and I will be more than happy to address it. Until the next time, see you.